All right, so here we have a bridge, and then if you observe this frontally, it should have the same space between strings, very even space, which by the way, this is almost 63 millimeters, so it's five millimeters, at least four or five millimeters bigger, in some cases six, than the old fashioned guitars. So this one here, from here to here to here, it should be the same distance as you can see it here, right? Or, let's pick on the bridge. There should be absolutely no mistake on the drilling of the, of the holes, right? Distances between strings. Here also you can see. Spacing is very exact and accurate, therefore you get this kind of balance, evenness. Now on the other side, if we observe a bridge like this, then we will notice this string from the 6th to the 5th is bigger distance than from the 5th to the 4th, and then here there is big space, here is less space. Yeah. Of course it comes out of the drilling work right here, right? Because the distance between this and this is not the same than this and that, or from here to here. And this causes a major flaw, which is this is the most important aspect, in my opinion, for, for a guitar that has precision. Look, look here. So, then one more. Look, check this, and also check this. You see, so, the problem in fact is a precision which is very evident. This is the main thing and the most important part of the guitar is the bridge. Also, well, the fact that this bridge, this bridge is extra flat and has two different wings, this is shorter and thicker, and this is larger and thinner, this improves the sound dramatically, plus the material, which the other one is the classical bridge, obsolete bridge. This, well, this, oh, this one on a classical guitar, which does not even have big cut. So this is the same, it's a very thick and it's equal, both wings equal and varnished. And here these are two different wings on varnish of maple. Then also, well, very important thing about tuning, which is a simple test you can do with just a pencil and a business card. Then you draw a line, put the card like this, place the card, and then you draw a line exactly at the half of the fret, this way. As you can observe, the distances here have to be proportionately shorter from right to left. Right? Because... Why? Because the fretboard when the, these frets have to be shorter distance, the more we go to this part, right? It has to be from more to less. And this is this shown here. And then if we just go to analyze a normal guitar, here we will see that there are some inconsistencies in the fret placement which will, of course, cause uh, issues in tuning because here the distances are almost, uh, not only, not proportionately shorter from right to left, but look at these last two lines. That space is bigger than the second last from, from left to right, I mean, right? While in the other case, we can observe perfect measurements 
and uh, cons uh, consistent. fretboard division. Well, uh, this is a great job and in fact it's very important for tuning. Of course I would like to thank Maestro Corrias for all his help in this research of years to find finally find out the perfect fretboard division which tunes fantastic. So this is one thing and then another which you can also test the first one is the most important, but this one is also important. And that is the fact that when I place here a card or something on the first string, this space should not touch, the string should not touch the headstock. Like this. Right? Also on the sixth, of course, I have, I have this string strong here, but right on the fourth, you can also, if you uh, just strung it up regularly, same thing, but here on the first string we can observe that this space should be free. This is because of the of the angle of the head, the angle that it has to have. I mean, you can like this, right? The angle of the, of the head. And then on the, almost every guitar, it's not about any brand, it's just every other, almost this problem happens here that this is touching here and of course it's touching here right this. and of course the ford also check the ford is touching here this is a, a problem for me this and also this here check the third so some people to save face they just Strung it this fourth from the hole to from the hole to outside and third from the hole to from the hole to outside too. But that that that's also wrong because it will twist in a weird way the the head. The tension of the string should be free free and also this way from the hole to inside from the hole to inside on the fourth and third on regular machine heads. So this thing here is just about a problem. Then of course, here we can observe that on this obsolete bone, classical bone, uh, left hand saddle, there is very little room from here, from the string, from the edge of the string to the, to, from the string, sixth and first, to the edge of the fret. So this, it means that it may, it may, very easily go out of the zone, which is advisable to have. While here, look how much room you have from here to here, right? From the first string to the to the edge of the, or from the sixth, right? So it's, in classical guitars, this is what happened. That is here. This is wide, and this is short, shorter. And in the modern flamenco guitar, post Paco de Lucia's period, this here is wide, and this one here is short. So this is three, three things which are very important. Then this is an easy guideline, because if you go and, and test it yourself, then you decide what's, what's good and what's not good. Now, the, the top, how does it look, a top which is not bent? Bent. So this is a problem. If you can see like this, how should be flat, and of course should be consistent. The fretboard placement or the setting should be consistent with the top, like here, right? It's totally flat. This. Right, so how consistent is this this alignment to also the top? Check it. And then on the other side, we can observe how how does it look uh, the top, which is bent right here. So you can appreciate this is sinking here. 
in sight. Right? Look. So the setting is not consistent from here to the top. Look how much distance we have in this part and this one. Of course it should be more distance, a little bit more distance here, but not like that. Look. It's totally in a V. In a B V form. Right? This is one thing, and of course the small distance from here to here, it makes also very short sound. This is effects of the of the thing. While the, the right top looks like this, the setting of a top which is not bent. So it doesn't matter even if this bends regarding tuning, that's the thing. Because if the top bends also, or the setting is not correct, then that would be a problem. <laughs> While the distance from this to this part, this top is a lot, so it, it, let, it lets ring so much. Okay, here we have the oven call back on sides. And that's a very revolutionary thing because it's a wood much better than the Indian rosewood. Then we have here with the Brazilian rosewood option, which is again another different thing, never done before. Then this one, this is another laurel, Brazilian wood as well. So all these are different ways to not repeat the same thing as always means. Because this kind of, of back and sides, which you have for sure have seen, that's the Indian rosewood. And it has a, first of all, it has a classic sound tone. And secondly, it does ha doesn't have to stay only that the negra is made of Indian rosewood. Why? Well, one, one part of it is that this is not the only tone or color on the sound, which may be available, right? So this is one thing. And another, another stuff that I want to mention here is about the change of the, of the neck. Because the left neck, we can see and appreciate that this one here is a maple, uh, flame maple neck, just like in the violins. And this has been a very important aspect on playability, because the neck also affects a lot the weight, the balance of the instrument, and so many things. So this is important. It's very important to, to say. Because of the cedar neck, which is the same of the same of the same thing. And first of all, it doesn't sound so good, and it's not the best wood to use for a neck. There is a reason why Stradivarius used maple on his violins, and why on guitar this could be done the same. It is one thing. Then the varnish also, this varnish is not a shiny varnish in this guitar, you can see here, but a, a made one. Right. Resembling all the style instrument. And this one here, this is plastic varnish. That also will affect the sound because it covers the the pore of the yeah, the skin of the of the wood gets covered. So like if I cover my mouth and you don't listen clearly. And therefore all these changes, this is what is of differentiation about this. And because there are so many options which are not doing the same thing, obviously. Now, regarding sound and, and balance as well, other thing which is related to the, to the knot, to the right-hand saddle, which, by the way, the one on wood is much better, the one that Eddie is using now, but on the right hand, on the right-hand saddle, if I just throw from here, I have to demonstrate it. what is about this thing. This, this is the traditional bone, which is obsolete in my opinion. And this, this one here is a carbon fiber, a special carbon fiber, which I is using now. This also has, it transmits the sound faster because it's lighter. It's a very light material. And then when we 
if we flop this to the floor, it listen to the tone of the beat. You see, it's like that object. Look. And if I throw this one, the carbon one, you see, look. Sounds like metal. And look this. <laughs> That's static. And of course it's very weighty, so this is an obsolete thing in my opinion. Now look. Completely different. Then on sound, of course. This bossing thing, I don't want to explain it because it's a very important aspect. There is proper bossing and then also bad bossing. This kind of bossing here. You play F sharp, second fret. Listen to the resonance. So this is bad bossing, right? Look. After the note, it goes from red rattling the zzzt. And then the quality of the trebles, of course, is important. Like it's just in some plastic, like here. has this characteristic of sweetness and this is a perfect balance for my male guitars. So the bossing on the flamenco guitar has to be there. The flamenco guitar has to do bossing, but not excessively, of course, and also not rattling like that. Look, listen. This is the boss, the proper boss in flamenco. It has some little, because when we do a scale, or something, we went to some little bit, but look, it disappears, right? So it goes for a moment and then the note is clearly there, clean. And the quality of the travel. So there has to be bossing, but not so much. And also, quality on the travel side is, is very difficult to get in an instrument. I and mean, this is just everyday life on these guitars. That's their daily life, I mean, because all are fantastic. And this one here, you can listen to the difference. you have to, to test it.
There have to be differentiation. From, you have to, to distinguish which is a bad boss from a, from, from a bad setting of the, of the top or stuff here on the guitar and what's the, what's the actual sound, because if we sound too clean, then it becomes like classical guitar. Right? And it's not a flamenco guitar, really, what we are playing. Now, other thing about the balance of the, of the, of the physical weight here with the instruments, it's interesting to notice, because this thing here, it may affect also your playing. Of course it does affect, because here I can just put the guitar and and it stays, stays there. The, the Barberos one, which are thick box and have this maple fretboard and the neck, it will alter definitively the, the balance of the weight of the guitar, like this thing, which you cannot do with any of you try with other guitar with a pony fretboard and you will see what happens. And of course, if I can move here freely, my hands and the guitar stay like that. When I am playing, this also affects me because I, have, I don't have to be <laughs> Uh, current, uh, this, this, yeah, supporting the weight with the left hand all the time. So this is a very important aspect as well. This carbon fiber revolutionary thing. In fact, this is just the uh, next future and the present and the future of Flamengo guitar because this transmits the sound great. So I hope this answered your question. And now you have it all in one video, the general guidelines guidelines to understand differentiation and also flaws that should not be there right if you want to because you have to to get to a point in which you like how you sound this is the thing right I, I want to play something and, and I want to like how I sound and I don't like how I sound on those obsolete instruments right that's why as I explained this is very personal and playability for me is everything watch the description of the video other links on which I explain detail, resource, why playability is important because the sound does not come from the guitar. The sound comes out of playability. That's the sound comes out of you playing, right? Not from it comes through the guitar, but it doesn't come from the guitar. It comes from you. Therefore, if the guitar is, is easy to play, then that, that that's it. Cannot get any better. Okay, thank you, and I see you next time.